Hi guys, it's Galila here with a quick tutorial on the Launchpad feature that comes with the Choreography Designer 3.0 and you can use it with your performance director. Martin recently did a poll and one of the questions on the poll was, do you use the Launchpad? And there were quite a few people who said no, they don't use it because they haven't had time to learn it or they, they prefer the backstage mover feature, which hasn't gone away. If you like that, you like it, you can still, you, you can still do that. But I'm here to tell you and show you how easy the launch pad is. So here I have uh, three note cards in my performance director, movement card, and then movement card two. And I have three dancers. My stage is marked with my stage manager. And if I press this one, this is where their start positions are. If I press movement card two, that's where their positions are. Let's just put it back to one. And now I want to, I have all my set designed and my routes all made. So now what I want to do is drop my launch pad. So yeah, it doesn't look great. It's just a an arrow. You want to make sure that the arrow is facing to your stage and you can put a texture on it if you like. It has a menu, a pop-up menu if you click it. You can turn it off. By the way, only have one out and on on a sim at a time. Otherwise, you'll be bouncing between the two. Not fun, don't do it. So if you have some out, you can turn them off. So you, if you're only using one, have it on and the others off. And if you don't remember where your, your launch pads are, hit locate launch pad and it'll tell you down in chat. I only have one out on the sim and it's right here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to tell it how many movers I have and you have a choice. You can have 32, 4, 8 or 16. So I mean less or more of course, but tops is 32. If if I hit 32 with this size, imagine 32 people standing on this. So that's when you would want to resize it using the menu. I'm just going to go with eight in case I add more movers. So if I if now if I just hit backstage, bam, there they go. And they're going to go in order. One, two, three, which I have them actually opposite out here. And if I load movement card two and hit on stage out they come in that position go backstage again movement card one on stage there they go now say on movement card two i've decided i only want two dancers out at that one and i want to keep dancer number two in the back so what i do is i go into that movement card number two and put right here at launch pad parameter in there. Now, when I load, as soon as I load movement card two, it's going to pop back there. Or if I go backstage first and load movement card two, and then on stage, only those two come out. Backstage, and I go to movement card one, the first one, out they all come. Movement card two, there goes number two back there. That's as easy as it can get, folks. It doesn't get easier. Now, a couple of things you have to remember is a mover must be 2.4 or higher for it to work with the launch pad. Any mover that you have that you want to go backstage needs a spot and at spot dancer number. So if you have a mover connected to a prop and you want it to go backstage to the launch pad, then put give it a spot dancer number. It doesn't have to have anything in the performance director for animations or anything like that. Just give it a spot dancer number 
and it'll go backstage. If it doesn't have one, it won't go backstage. Don't pack the launch pad in your stage manager. It's not needed in there. When you get to your venue, you drop your stage manager and you drop your launch pad. And either when you either you res your movers with the stage manager and hit the backstage button and they'll all go back there. Or you can carry your movers with you in your inventory and just drop them there behind the stage and then just hit backstage and they'll go there. They'll go to the um, launch pad. And let's see. Also, if you happen to lose a mover somehow, I've seen people do that. You know, it goes, you drag it some off somewhere. As long as it has an odd spot, a spot dancer number in there, just hit backstage and it'll come flying to you. If it has this, if it's a, if you have two of them the same number, they're going to be on top of each other, and you won't notice it. So be careful there. Uh, you can also put, if you don't want to push the button, and you want to, you want it to go when you hit play. There are the commands here. Go on stage and go backstage. So I, I don't have it in the window, but go on stage, all one word. Go backstage, all one word. And it's on a longer channel number, and you can't change the channel, so you would have to look on the website for that. But um, that's it. Have fun. Bye.